I'll be the first to say that thyroid medication management can be confusing, which is why it should come as no surprise that some thyroid patients experience almost too good to be true symptoms when they start or stop taking their thyroid medicine. One example of this are people who experience weight loss when they stop taking their level thyroxine as opposed to starting it. While it may sound impossible, it does happen. Is it common? Not necessarily, but it does happen enough that it's worth discussing. Because after all, the more you understand about thyroid medication, the more likely you are to get back to feeling 100%, which is what all thyroid patients want. In order to understand why some thyroid patients lose weight when they stop taking level thyroxine, you have to understand how thyroid medication impacts your weight in general, which again is not as straightforward as most people realize. The truth is that most thyroid medications have little to no impact on fat mass, but they can have an impact, a great impact actually, on fluid retention in your body. This is because thyroid dysfunction results in the accumulation of water through its impact on compounds like glycose aminoglycans. When you are in a low thyroid state, your body accumulates these compounds in your tissues and they drag water along with them. So when a thyroid patient starts or stops thyroid medication, any near immediate change to their weight is almost always related to fluid, not to fat. Do thyroid medications cause fat loss as well? Yes, but this effect is minimal and tends to occur much more slowly over a long period of time. In fact, at most, hypothyroid patients who start taking level thyroxine will see a drop in their weight by about 10 to 15 pounds if it happens at all. But getting back to the question at hand, why do some people lose weight when they stop their thyroid medication? While we don't know for sure, it probably has to do with these two reasons. Number one, they were taking level thyroxine when they didn't actually need it. And this one is probably the most common. Based on the most recent research, it's estimated that up to one third of thyroid patients taking level thyroxine or thyroid medication in general don't need to be on it. This of course runs contrary to the information that many of you were given when you started taking your thyroid medication. You were probably told at that time that you must take this medication for the rest of your life, which is why this information may be jarring to hear, but it is true. And studies like this prove it. If you are somebody who is taking level thyroxine and you don't actually need to be on it, then it follows that you will probably feel better once you stop taking it. And when you do, you may lose a little extra weight in the process. I understand this may not make sense because after all, if you're taking extra thyroid hormone, wouldn't that cause more weight loss, not weight gain? The answer to this question is no. And the reason has to do with the type of thyroid hormone found in level thyroxine and most other thyroid medications. Level thyroxine contains 100% of the thyroid hormone T4, also known as thyroxine. Here's why this matters. In the healthy state, your body produces roughly 80% T4 and roughly 20% T3, which means of course that thyroid patients who are taking level thyroxine are not getting a healthy ratio of T4 to T3. Because T3 is the most powerful thyroid hormone and because taking level thyroxine shuts down your body's ability to naturally produce it, it's possible that if you are taking level thyroxine when you didn't actually need it, that once you stop taking it, your body will then be able to produce more T3 than you were able to create when you were taking level thyroxine. In short, the more T3 that you have, the better you will feel. From there, it's easy to link the connection between a higher T3 level to a higher amount of thyroid function in the body to an elimination of fluid from the body and therefore weight loss. The second reason is not as common, but it still occurs. And that is number two, the dose of level thyroxine that was given was too high. It's far more common for thyroid patients to take too little thyroid medication, meaning they're underdosed, as opposed to taking too much. But there are plenty of people out there who are taking more than they need, including perhaps many of you listening to this right now. Based on some studies, we see that roughly about 18% of patients taking level thyroxine or thyroid medication are taking more than they need at any given time. And when this happens, it's easy to see a situation in which you might not feel very well and that your body will be out of balance if you're taking more thyroid hormone than you need. It follows then, if you were to stop taking that thyroid medication, which was providing your body with too much, that you would probably start to feel better in the process. This makes logical sense, but how do you reconcile it with the fact that excess thyroid hormone is usually associated with weight loss, not weight gain? 
Shouldn't someone taking too much thyroid medication be losing weight when their dose is too high as opposed to losing weight when they stop taking it? Not exactly, and the reason has to do with what I explained earlier. Most thyroid patients who are taking level thyroxine are giving their body too much of the inactive thyroid hormone known as T4. That extra thyroid hormone can turn off TSH production in your brain, making it look like you are in a hyperthyroid state. But the tissues in your body will attempt to compensate by turning that thyroid hormone into an inactive thyroid hormone metabolite called reverse T3. And states of excess reverse T3 result in hypothyroid symptoms because they block thyroid function. This is why there are plenty of thyroid patients out there who experience low thyroid symptoms despite having a TSH that is suppressed or a TSH that is low. And we have a name for this. It's called tissue level hypothyroidism. If you are taking levothyroxine and your body is turning it into the thyroid blocking hormone reverse T3, then once you stop taking that levothyroxine, your body will once again be able to create T3 and you will then feel better. Paradoxically then, stopping thyroid medication will actually improve thyroid function due to this conversion process. By the way, if this is your first time hearing about thyroid conversion, then make sure to check out this video because it explains it in much more detail. Now, does this mean that you should stop taking your level thyroxine if you're hoping to lose weight? And the answer to that question is no. While it is common for some people to experience an improvement in their symptoms when they stop taking level thyroxine, many of those same people will end up right back in their hypothyroid state after a couple of months. The reason for this has to do with the long half-life of level thyroxine. Every single dose of level thyroxine that you take will stay in your system for about 30 to 35 days. So even if you were to stop taking your level thyroxine today, you would still experience some benefit from the level thyroxine you took yesterday for about a month. But given that there are about one third of you who are currently taking thyroid medication when you don't need to be, it's definitely worth discussing with your doctor whether or not it's worth a trial to get off your thyroid medication. And I've done videos on how to do this exact process on my channel before, so make sure to check those out if you're interested. But a word of caution, stopping thyroid medication is not possible for everyone, especially if you are somebody who has had your thyroid removed, if you are someone who has undergone radioactive iodine ablation, or if you are in end stage Hashimoto's. But for patients who are not in any of those categories, it is absolutely worth looking into. No matter what you choose to do, remember that there are still plenty of things that you can do to help yourself feel better, even if you are someone that's required to take thyroid medication for the rest of your life. And if you want to see a list of some of these, then I'd recommend checking out this video next.